day with us. Much more to come right here on Avis and Cody. Seems like every hour there's some some different type of uh, weather. Okay, like I hear it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. It's like 80 degrees today. I've learned to dress with layers. Probably don't go to class if it's too bad out. I hope that guy's professors aren't watching. Our weather warriors from Penn State give us the lowdown on living in a valley. Hi everyone, welcome back into Abrams Bettis Beyond the Forecast. We are reporting a full array of weather on tonight's show and some of it is unseasonably cold. That's right, and one spot where it can be very cold one day and very hot the next day is at Penn State University and two of our weather warriors took Living in a Valley to the streets. Hi, I'm student meteorologist Jackie Noto. And I'm Brett Williams. Brett and I right now are on the roof of the Walker Building here at Penn State's University Park campus. This building is very important to us because it is the home of the Penn State Meteorology Department. But that's not the only reason why we're on the roof. It does look like it's going to rain pretty quick. And it's lightning over there. <laughs> we're taking a look at uh, downtown State College, which is right up against Mount Nittany that you can see in the background. Mount Nittany is about 2,000 feet tall, and that puts us in a valley, a very happy valley. But the weather here? Not always so happy, and Brett and I are going to tell you why. Mountains on either side of the valley force air to rise over them, which cools and causes clouds. At night, air sinks into the valley. This air can get trapped, causing fog or overcast conditions in the valley. The lifting and sinking motions of the air also cause the temperatures in the valley to be highly variable. Because of this effect, the weather here in State College is much more unpredictable. State College has a higher chance for rain and overcast conditions than other areas at the same latitude, such as New York. In October, State College is over 10% more likely to have an overcast day than New York. That's three full days a month or an entire weekend. How do you think Penn State students feel about that? The weather is definitely very unpredictable. Um, you know. Seems like every hour there's some some different type of uh, weather. It changes from day to day. Like I hear it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. It's like 80 degrees today. Sometimes it's too cold. Sometimes it's too hot. I don't know how to dress up. I've learned to dress with layers so that I can take off and put on when I need to. Probably don't go to class if it's too bad out. I think if it's nicer weather, I'm less likely to go to class. It's really nice during the summer, but like during the year, it's cloudy a lot. The weather in State College is unpredictable, it's whimsical, but I guess it's something that you just got to get used to and enjoy. Well, Jackie, we moved indoors. That's right, and we also learned a lot today about weather in a valley and how students here on campus deal with that kind of weather. And we also showed you a little bit of the weather station here at Penn State. Thanks for the tour, guys. I have to give them an A+. 